Side kick can't be good. Oh, yeah. And what? Picks it up. Bryant finally makes a play tonight. Bryant oh, oh, waits until the last oh, minute 17. <laughs> and now he's got a big smile on his face. Where's Forza Hopkins, New Hopkins, who's down there trying to pump him up and keep his head right? That ball's coming to Bryant. Bryant's thinking, I guess I'm going to make this play. Sammy Watkins is like, I got this. I thought for I sure. I got this. It was right to Watkins, and Bryant intercepted it. Good for <laughs> Bryant making that play. A slight underdog. And certainly the less respected of these two teams, the Clemson Tigers are winning a big one. Now they will set sail toward the ACC games after South Carolina State, North Carolina State, Wake Forest, Syracuse, Boston College, October 19th. Circle it. Here's what I'm circling. <laughs> after that one. The okay. Florida State game. I, Syracuse, Florida State, I, Maryland, Gog Tech, South Carolina. It's no easy slate. Florida State. I want Clemson to circle Maryland. I'll be at the Esso Club the week of the Florida State game. <laughs> Just a huge win for the program. Clemson triumphs over Georgia. 38-35. And many in the crowd storm the field here. Don't you shake hands. Let's, let's go down to heaven. Navo, congratulations. The theme this year for you was did your team just do the unthinkable? Well, there's never been a non-SEC team beat two top ten SEC teams in a row until tonight. It's only unthinkable if you don't think it. And I'm just as proud of how our guys showed to believe. It's off to Georgia. It's going to have a great year. But I'm proud of the Cubs and Tigers. Now you can't accomplish it in one game, but what did you accomplish tonight? We just won the opener, that's all. You know, the first goal was to win the opener. It was in the audio there, but you know what's being said. All right. Now we're drunk. Back on the channel, check it out. Hell yeah. Congratulations. Congratulations. Stay safe. <laughs> Seen in Clemson, South Carolina. A big victory over this. It's like when you're at the dance the and you wish you'd gone in there sooner when you see everybody going in there and you're out on the edges. For Georgia. The players and the coaches, they go home and they've got to get ready for Steve Spurrier and the South Carolina Gamecocks who played on Thursday. You're right, 
I just want to say that Clemson is a huge win. They're excited about what they can accomplish and where they're going to be heading in the, in the rankings. But you're right about Georgia. Georgia has South Carolina next week in a huge conference game, which will get Mark Rick to be able to get his players to focus. Also, LSU in a few weeks. So they're still, they didn't get embarrassed tonight. They shouldn't drop very far, in my opinion, in the, in the rankings. So they can still have a great year. They just need to regroup and try to get healthy. Sing it on and on and on and on and on. The beat don't stop until the break of dawn. I sing it on and on and on and on and on. Like a hot butter, the pop, the pop, the pop, give it, give it, pop, the pop, pop. You don't dare stop or come alive, y'all. Give me what you got.